are welcome to the Savage Nation. And it, yeah, I'll start anyway, again, and I'll come to the Savage Nation. Yes, thank you. Uh, anyway, yesterday I heard on the radio, I believe it was NPR, uh, Jimmy Carter was being interviewed by one of the uh, hosts. And uh, he went on to, basically my understanding of it was that uh, he was in full support of the Palestinians, and he was saying basically that the Israelis were the aggressors and that if, you know, they would just loosen up on their treatment of the Palestinians, whether it be in the West Bank or in Gaza Strip and occupied territories, there wouldn't be these re uh, retaliatory uh, actions by the Palestinians. And to me, I always... Well, that's right. And if the Jews of Germany all climbed into a gas chamber, Hitler would have been a happy camper. He wouldn't have had a gas them yeah well the, exactly that's my, my my point is just that uh i i was always under the impression that carter was you know a mild-mannered pacifist easy jimmy man. carter is an anti-semitic swine jimmy carter is an anti-american swine jimmy carter has been working to undermine this country for several decades there you go i knew i knew i would get the truth out of somebody thank you why, why? You don't know the truth about Jimmy Carter? Go back to his presidency and take a look at what he did to this country. Jimmy Carter is the reason we have radical Islam as a virus around the planet. Jimmy Carter overthrew the Shah of Iran, helped the, the, the throw him out of uh, Iran because he didn't like his human rights record. And what replaced the human rights record of the Shah of Iran? Why, what replaced it is the, the throat cutters called radical Islam. He brought Khomeini back from Paris and uh, installed it basically into Iran. And that spread the disease, the virus, the cancer of radical Islam around the world. Jimmy Carter should be in prison for what he did. Do you know where Jimmy Carter is today? you know where he's going tomorrow? I have no idea. Jimmy Carter is flying down south to Venezuela to make sure that the anti-American football, uh, Mr. Chavez, uh, is duly elected. To make certain that any opposition that arises is... Uh, is uh, is uh, is not seen by the world. You know that during the last election, Jimmy Carter and his so-called Carter Center approved the Chavez election, saying that there was no violence and it was all on the up and the up. People were killed. People were shot in uh, in Venezuela. Also, what you don't know, because of Jimmy Carter, the anti-American is trying to foment a socialist revolution in the Western Hemisphere. Jimmy Carter didn't tell you that Mr. Chavez of Venezuela certified several hundred thousand illegal aliens from another country and made them citizens in order to swing the vote over to him. This is all verified by an independent voting commission, not by Jimmy Carter, the un-American, anti-American, anti-Semitic swine. Thanks for the call. You know, I sent this letter to somebody recently about Jimmy Carter. I, I can't, I'm never going to tell you the man's name because it's a confidence. He's a good man. I don't know why he has anything to do with Jimmy Carter. I'll never understand it. By what Jimmy Carter has been doing, he is basically uh, fomenting anti-Semitism. He is going to turn the world against the Jews. The entire world will be turned against the Jews because Jimmy Carter is a lying anti-Semitic pig. Now write that down. Make sure that uh, Media Matters gets that correctly. That group of swine at Media Matters who take me out of context. Uh, make sure you don't take this one out of context. Jimmy Carter is an anti-American, anti-Semitic swine. Now, for Jimmy Carter to go around on ABC's Good Morning America, I don't know which America uh, he says good morning to, but it's not my America. Certainly not my America. They don't listen to Good Morning America. It's another America. I don't know who it is. Maybe the same people who watch Rosie O'Donnell making a fat behind out of herself. Certainly not my America. He goes on that show and basically says that if Israel didn't exist, there'd be peace on earth. Well, Jimmy Carter, why don't you answer this question, you anti-Semitic swine? Tell us why your Muslim buddies who gave a million dollars to your Carter Center because you're a low-down prostitute like all the rest of them. You're just a prostitute. You're not even a socialist idealist. You're a petty southern prostitute. You're a camp follower, Jimmy. You're the kind that trailed the soldiers uh, during the Confederacy and sold yourself in fishnet stockings, as far as I'm concerned. Because don't make believe you're doing it for the betterment of humanity, Jimmy. You're doing it because they put big bucks into your little Carter Center to keep you and your brood alive down there. Because you can't make an honest buck any other way. Take a look at who funded the Carter Center and where the money is coming from. And you'll understand why Jimmy Carter, the prostitute, says the things he says.
Find out how much money Mr. Chavez of Venezuela might be putting in Jimmy Carter, the prostitute's Carter Center. I'll be right back. Yeah.